So can Gordon Brown pull off one of the biggest political comebacks in history? Well, the opinion polls indicate that he can. Elliot Gotkin looks at why. A year ago, Gordon Brown looked like he was quickly running out of time. Trailing David Cameron's Conservatives by more than 20 points, an election, it seemed, would be a foregone conclusion. Not anymore. The polls coming out now are so tight that no party looks like winning an absolute majority. Well, the improvement in the economy from a you know, very weak position we were in a year or so ago has certainly helped to underpin the improvement in Gordon Brown and the government's opinion poll ratings. But um, the big question now, of course, is whether that will continue. At the moment, it's not enough um, to win him the election. Um, if the economy continues to improve over the next couple of months or so, it might just be. Um, but there's a separate question over whether he takes full credit, of course, for any further improvement in, in the economy. Recent data have certainly been encouraging. On Wednesday, jobless figures showed unemployment falling at its fastest pace since the year Labour came to power. Economists had been expecting an increase and the pound strengthened as a result. The stars seem to be aligning for Gordon Brown. We've seen Labour share increase over the last few weeks since the beginning of the year and the Conservatives um, decrease. So the economy certainly seems to be helping Labour. But that's not to say that's the only thing that's going to affect the outcome of this election. We know that leaders and personalities, things like the TV debates, are going to be just as important as issues. Bizarrely, Gordon Brown may now find himself in a win-win situation when it comes to the economy. If it strengthens, he takes the credit. If it weakens, he can argue that the economy is far too fragile to leave in the hands of the deficit-slashing Conservatives. With more than half the electorate naming the economy as the most important issue, the man who claimed to have rid the UK of boom and bust may not be running out of time after all. Elliot Gotkin, Bloomberg News.